lipstick day. Red lipstick day. Red lipstick day. Red lipstick day. I think red lipstick helps when I'm feeling low. I put the red lipstick on and I become a new character. And it yeah, just makes you. True. I just put it on, I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, it brings out the boldness, Sexy. the sexiness and the boldness in you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good therapy, Red. <laughs> so, um, I'm with Claire here, and she often mentioned the white vagina as a concept. Uh, so, I would like her to explain to us what it is. Uh, what is the white vagina? When you mention the word vagina in public, there's a lot of shame around this word. word. Mm -hmm. um, and even myself, I really never connected to my vagina until my 30s. No one taught me about sex. I, I didn't know about my body until I, in my 30s, till I became a woman. When I was younger, I was... Just, If I'm very honest, I was just giving myself away to be loved. And so what happened for you to connect to your vagina? What shifted or what understanding came to you? Or... To be more in my body. Yeah. I learned uh, an incredible amount from dance, from dancing with other women, from belly dance. Mm -hmm. It was actually men that made me feel more connected to my vagina. How did they do that? Just, just by complimenting her. Mm. Just by saying, wow, what a pretty vagina you've got. I mean, that would be great to hear for if every man could say that to, to every woman to actually really acknowledge. That's what helped me be more open was when a man would actually say, wow, you've got a beautiful vagina. Mm -hmm. And then I felt more beautiful. Yeah. Um, um, what is sex for you? It's just a very broad question, I know, but... Uh... Sex is creativity. Mm -hmm. I think there's many different types of sex and it depends on the partner at the time. It can be playful, it can be role-playing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the sex maybe that's going on nowadays is swipe left and swipe right. And then you mix it with alcohol and cocaine. That's like sex that is not sex. That's fucking. But sex is... Sex is exploring, it's getting to know each other, and it's about being in your body and mm -hmm. not in your mind. And not wondering, it's not a performance, mm -hmm. it's a feeling. Mm -hmm. What do the world need to understand about the wisdom in the vagina? I think we need to listen to ourselves more. Okay. If we want, if we want to wake up, then you need to have a connection with your vagina because she does talk to you. And what kind of things she would say? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? My name's Vagina. <laughs> First, firstly, being able to say this word uh -huh. and own it. Like, it's a vagina, it's like your hand. And it really has wisdom in there. For me personally, if I have sex, then I look at how I feel the next day. So the next day, if I feel very, how do I feel? Do I feel very creative? Do I feel sad? Do I feel this? Do I feel that? Mm -hmm. So I listen to my body and I listen to myself to how I feel. So if it's a wise, a wise man or a man that's fully in his penis, then the next day I'm going to feel like painting.
it's almost like I'm a it's almost like my vagina's a vampire and wants to to suck the energy from the man so I can maybe paint or write the next day. Yeah, it's a good awareness to have to have a connection and realize actually the next day how you feel there and what she she says because if I'd known if I'd known how sensitive I was to men and to sexual energy and how powerful it is, maybe I would have been more wise growing up. Mm. Women I can't talk about everyone, but maybe we need to slow down. It's like if you take drugs or ecstasy then you or alcohol, then you're really vulnerable. You're not you're not in your body. But my vagina's my vagina. Your vagina is your vagina. You need to ask yourself. Because I can only talk about my experiences. Yes, yes. And this is what I want you to talk about. Your experience and share from your honesty, you know. When you connect to this part of your body, it for sure has some wisdom because it's full of life. And this is where life has been created. So Yeah, we're made from sex. Yeah. We're made from sex, but we are not taught about it. Okay, we talk about the biology of penis and vagina and we know how to draw the parts in biology. But have we ever talked about the, the essence, the, the connection and the love? No. Where do we learn that from? We don't. So... It's, it's love. How, how can you describe love? It's a, it's a feeling. Yeah, if you want to be loved, then you need to love every part of yourself. Love your vagina. I'd like to say respect your vagina and all this stuff to the youngsters, because I never did. They didn't have much self-respect. Yeah. And if we actually slow down, and we're not in the office, or we're not trying to be super women, if we take a step back, and get into ourselves and into our bodies, then we're more in tune. We can go with the flow and we can feel ourselves more. That poem, I, I wrote a poem for Release the Snake. I think I wrote this when I was maybe in my 20s. It's called Unconscious Sex. 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 All I want is fucking sex. Come on boys, flex those pecs, because all I want is fucking sex. Have a drink. I'm pissed out of my head. Now I want to take you all to bed. Smoke a joint. Totally high. Grab that snake and lick my thigh. Dab of speed. Fuck like rabbits. Now I really must have it. Coke makes me a dirty whore. Now I want sex, even more sex, sex. All I want is fucking sex. So that's unconscious sex. Yeah, it's pretty I think, primal. I pretty... think he got it from the. Yeah, from the... I love it. Yeah. But we've all experienced that. Yeah, the message is clear. Stop uh, taking drugs. <laughs> yeah, or ask yourself why you need the drugs. Mm. What is actually blocking you? What What are you wanting in life? I mean, I did loads of drugs. I wasn't a very happy girl. But I also loved to dance. And taking mm. taking ecstasy and dancing for 15 hours was heaven. And that's why I love going and dancing on boot camps because when I dance intensely then I'm totally in my body and I'm no longer my mind yeah. and this is meditation this is this is bliss for me mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it's human beings don't really we want love and affection not sex Why that's just 
Because I spent 10 years looking at sex. Well, maybe I want love and affection and not sex. Because mm -hmm. I can only talk about me. But I've spoken to a lot of people and I've done a lot of research. And this poem actually made one of my friends cry. Because I was trying to put together a sexual performance piece. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we... So I can't talk about sex anymore. I'm done with sex. And I just got really mad standing up there. And then I said, right, love and affection. Love and affection is what we need. In our bodies, minds and spirits, we will then find peace. We can all choose how we wish to feel, but love and affection is what makes us real. So when you are scared and tense inside, no need... No need to run, no need to hide. Let go and release your feeling. Love and affection is very healing. Yeah, very beautiful. Very true. Yeah, love and affection. Mm. And not porn sex. Mm. 